Hello everyone and welcome back to another video tutorial from the WordPress redesign series. Let me see what we're gonna do today. I found this theme which called Abicona, if I'm pronouncing it right. I think I found it on themeforest.com. I'm not really sure because I saved this site or this theme uh, to my favorite two weeks ago, but I was so busy with the snow or the heavy snow in the UK that I didn't get a chance to make this video. But anyway, it's a nice theme, uh, clean, simple, I really like it, but I'm not gonna design this theme. My focus will be on this top part here, which is the header, the main header. Because there's a lot of interesting stuff going on here, and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. Um, but uh, before I do that, let me say that um, if we try to redesign something, either it's in a commercial, uh, from a commercial theme like this one or another online site it's just because we like what we see and also I think this is the best way to learn how to use the tools we are having either it's a builder or it's a theme also uh, I want to mention that in this tutorial I'm going to use Astra theme I'm going to use the pro version also I'm going to use the pro version of Elementor page builder but uh, if you are using any other page builder or any other theme, you can still follow uh, follow me along and you will learn a lot of stuff. Uh, this one here, this top part here, if you if you if I'm scrolling down here, if I scroll down the page, you will see that the top part will disappear and this pin header will stick to the top of the page. Uh, so this one here, we're gonna use the custom layout in Astra to build this one. But as I read in their uh, documentation, if you use the custom layout or the custom header, there's a lot of options in the customizer. would not work. For example, I couldn't find a way to add above header or below header using the customizer if I'm using a custom layout. I couldn't find it. If you guys know how to how to do that, just let me know. But I couldn't find it, and uh, it seems like if you're using your custom if you're using a custom header then you won't be able to add above header or uh, below header. So how are we gonna do that? How to make this one sticky and this one unsticky? I'm gonna use uh, the hook to design the top part and I'm gonna use the header to um, design the main header. Also, if you look at this one here, you'll see like a, uh, it's like a menu. Uh, you can do this if you wanna do exact, exact like what you see now, you can use this one in the menu, you can create a separate menu. Uh, with icons, but for the simplicity of this video, uh, I'm gonna use uh, the social icons and, and uh, Elementor. <clears throat> also, this header here, uh, you can see like there is a, uh, a background, you got two colors this reddish color here on the left, and the white uh, background color on the right. Uh, we'll see how we're gonna do that uh, using Elementor. Also, this menu here, you can see there is a divider here, and these icons with the button. Also gonna see how to do that. And also, of course, we're gonna see how to shrink the menu, this one here, when you scroll down. Uh, I did something here, I did a page, I created a page called Abicona, and if I view it, you will see it's it's kind of similar to this one, okay? Different content, different images, but the main part here, there is no menu, which is this one here, okay? And as you can see, it's very similar to uh, the main theme. I just created this page so I can show you the final result when we finish this top part here. So, if you are interested to know how to design this one here, uh, follow me along and let me start. So, we're going to start designing this uh, top part here or the above header. So, we're going to go to the back end, WordPress. I'm going to Appearance. Um, I'm going to go to um, Astra. Then, Custom Layouts. Then I'm gonna add a new, and I call this one above header. Above header, okay. Uh, go down here, layouts. I'll call it hooks. You get many options here. You get the action. This you will choose where to place uh, this design or this kind of hooks. Uh, if you don't know what it is, okay, there is um, there's a free plugins from Astra called Visual. Uh, Astra Visual Hooks, you can uh, install it, it's free, and it will tell you actually a lot of things about these places, but if you don't know, just, you know, just choose one and try. I mean, 
for example, you can try to use Bonitab or any other thing here to see where it goes. But as I said, it's a free, a free plugins. You can download it. It will help you a lot. Also, display on. You can choose to display on a specific page or entire website. Let me choose entire website so you can see exactly how it goes. Also, there is a user roles here if you want to uh, <coughs> add uh, roles to the users. But anyway, this simple stuff here, going to publish it. Um, <coughs> click edit with Elementor to start the design. Okay. Um, if I look here, you can see this is like uh, two columns here in one section. Let me create a new section. This one here and make it stretch box and make it 1200. I'll make it black. Okay. Then I will make two columns. Get two columns here. I can add, make this one a little bit bigger. And this one, let me see. I got a content position, make it in the middle. Then I will add a header to this one. I will go style here, make it white and the size I'll make it maybe 14, 14, make it 500. Let me see, this is around 700. Okay, and also the align gonna be to the left. Then I'll paste that code in here, okay, this is HTML code, it's about a font awesome icon with the text you want with the spaces here. Okay, um, I'll try to put this code uh, in the description, video description, but you can stop the screen and take a look at it. It's very simple, very easy. As for this one here, this is, as I said, if you wanna make it exactly like this one, you can make a separate a menu or a special menu for this one so you can get a drop menu a drop down menu when you mouse over but for the simplicity i'll make it as a social icon so i'll go over here come to here add social icon uh, we got one two three four five so <clears throat> one two three i can add two more uh, this one will be uh, youtube YouTube and RSS. So this one here will be RSS. Okay, also this one will be aligned to the right. Okay, then I will go to the style <coughs> and um, choose custom. For primary color, I will make it transparent like that. For the size, let me see. Um, make it 15 or uh, 16 yeah for the padding I'll make it maybe 1 spacing 0 or padding like that okay I can hover I'm just add a color to see and you can see this is round I don't need this round thing here so icons here round and make it 0 so it can be a square if I see it like that here we go and this is a big space in here and as you, as you can see this is the height is very big so I will go to this row section I will column gap I said no gap so yeah 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 that that's that looks fine then I will save it update it and if I go over here go to the dashboard I will see the pages I'm gonna view. Here we go. We can see that we got this top part, okay, which is that one. Okay, so this part here, we got it. And if you scroll down, it will disappear. As you can see, we want to scroll down like this one here, the top part or above header disappear. So we got this one. So the second thing is we're gonna start to design this part here. So let us see how we're gonna do that. But before we start to design this part here, let we take a look at the menu. We'll see how we're gonna do this menu here, okay? Um, you can do it as two menus, but I'm gonna do it as one menu and I'll see how to deal with it. So if I go here, um, the dashboard, if I go to the dashboard, 
and go to the menus. Okay, I did a menu here just for the time being. Uh, uh, become a menu. If I select it here, you will see I got this menu here, but it's not primary menu yet. Okay, it's just normal menu, it's a custom menu. Okay, it's just normal one. Except this one here. If you look here, you will see this divider here. Okay, this divider here. I add it here. This is called bar or pipe from your keyboard. And I added a class to it, no pointer, because if you mouse over here, there is no mouse over, okay? You will see there is no mouse over like this one here. So I add um, a class here, so I can add this class later to the customizer theme or the theme customizer. Okay, and there is no URL. The way to do that, actually, okay, because if you try to add, if you go to custom layout, if you try to add it like this, say, for example, if I add this one here, add to menu, it won't accept it because you have to add a URL. So you can do that. You can just add a URL like that. I'm sorry, like, like that. And add to menu. And when it comes here, you just go down here and just delete it. Okay, and you can save it now. You can save it, and it's still there. So for somehow, WordPress doesn't allow you to add a menu without its link, but if you add it with the link, then you deleted the link, it will accept it. It's kind of weird, but you can do it this way. I'm gonna remove this one. Also, this one here, okay, is just a font awesome icon, which is this one here, the cart and uh, the search icon. Over here, you can see this is the cart, and <clears throat> this one here is a search icon, okay? Um, the way to get this one, if you go to Font Awesome, Font Awesome here, okay? You can go to Font Awesome and you can download any icon you want. You just go to Icons and choose the icon here. And for somehow, sometimes, say for example, if I go to Free and go to this one here, and you can just copy this link. For somehow, or sometimes, this new version, because I think this is a version 5, yeah, here, version 5 of Font Awesome. For somehow, this version 5 sometimes doesn't work with the Astra theme. I don't know why, okay? But if you're having this problem, and if you copy the code and it doesn't show on your site, then go back here to the search and use the old one, old 4.7 uh, icons, okay? Then you copy. Uh, the icons from the old one, not the version 5. I know they, they're telling you, they, they are telling you it's a version 5, but forget about this one. Go to icons, okay? And then you go over here to anyone and just the, just copy the code and it will work, okay? Just in case if uh, version 5 uh, didn't work with you, choose version 5. This is for these icons here. So I got the icon for the, uh, the icon for, um, the card and the icon for um, uh, this uh, search here, okay? This one here for the search and the icon. And this one here, the appointment, I just add uh, a normal link, appointment, here, okay? And I add a class menu item highlight because I'm gonna add this code later on. I will show you how to get this code from, or you can get any code you want. So it's just normal menu, okay? There is nothing strange here. Okay, so let me see if I add primary menu, I'm gonna assign it to primary menu and save menu. I'm gonna save the whole thing. Okay, and I go, go to pages. And actually, I got this one here, and you can see this menu. If I refresh, we'll see I got this menu. Okay, but you see that if I put the mouse here, it just changed the color. We're gonna fix this one in a minute. Okay. So we got the menu. We need to start to design this header here. So let us start to design this one. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go back to the WordPress. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to WordPress here. I'm gonna go to Appearances, Astra, okay, Custom Layouts, and I'm gonna add new. <clears throat> I'm gonna call it Main Header, okay. And down here, I'm gonna choose header. And <clears throat> let me say uh, stick, I'm gonna make it sticky and shrink. 
and stick on desktop and display on entire website again if you want to add it to a specific pages you can use it from here but I'm gonna use entire website also the use rules you can choose if you want I leave it as it is publish <clears throat> then I will edit with element two. <clears throat> so we got here like one section with two columns so I go over here add a new section to columns and go to this column here make it 20% and that one here will be 80 so I will go to the section here oh I'm sorry I don't know what happened here I'm gonna refresh okay again add two column this one 20 so this one is 80 and this section here and make it stretch 1200 uh, middle and I'll add no gap okay no gap so we can add everything okay I click update for this one here this column here I will add an image which will be will hold the logo okay you cannot see it because the logo is white but we'll leave it for now I'll come over here at the menu so the nav menu here okay uh, I got a big on a menu I make it aligned to the right <coughs> and you can see it's underlined but you can choose whatever you want for example I can choose text grow I can change the effect here skew or I go back to the underline like this one here because underline but underline here is double underline we don't have this option here I will choose underline and grow over here uh, let me go uh, let me see I'm gonna style here and I gotta hover so text color and make it this color here primary uh, pointer color the same so mouse over I get this color here then I go to normal let me see the color will be the same or I choose this color choose any color then the topography I will choose maybe make it 14 weight make it 400 let me see a little bit more maybe 600 okay and transform uppercase because this one is uppercase okay now pointer width I will leave it for default horizontal batting this one here I'll make it 4 the reason I made it 4 because I want to play with the spacing okay not with the horizontal padding a vertical padding I will make it maybe 10 like that and the space in between <clears throat> let me see make it 30 okay now I will go back to add this background color so I go to the section here style instead of choosing classic I'll choose gradient okay the first color the one on the left and the next color or the second color the one on the right so I will choose this one here just to see it guys I will change it to white later on but just for you to see it this one I will make it this color here as you can see you got two colors and this liner is not radial and this is the location and this one here location for the second color okay first for the angle I make it 90 okay so this one here you see is like a feather I choose this location play with the location until you get this one here see this feather here this second location I make it zero second location here this is the uh, divider between the two color and this location the location of the start or the end of start of this color first color and second color and the end of the first color is like that okay and this one here actually this menu is the spacing is a little bit big so I will move it a little bit down uh, make it 25 and this section here uh, the location I make it like that then I will choose this color to white I just I choose this color for you guys to see it but make it white and I update when I update I'll go over here and refresh 
you will see they got this one here. Now if I click here, you see it's uh, uh, actually this one is a little bit big, I'll make it smaller. So I go to the logo, uh, size, I'll make it maybe that one here, 75. And also I will make it a line left. And then update, check it in here. Okay, as you see, I need to add more space in here, so I go over here. This column here, I'll advance for the columns, I add padding, top uh, maybe 10, and the bottom 10, or maybe 12, kind of 12. Okay, update, come over here. Uh, the size is a little bit bigger, so I'll make it 15. So this is 15, and this is 15. <coughs> also, this one here, um, add padding to uh, the logo itself, make it maybe five. It's five, so you can have more space when the logo shrinks. So I'll update, here we go. And when I go down, you see it shrink, I got more space. So, so far so good, looks nice now. We got all the effects like this one here, okay. Uh, the only thing left is this one here and this one here. So you can see this is when I put mouse over, I got this one. So we need to take this pointer off. And also we need to add, um, uh, actually this one here, this is search the icon. It's not the same order, but it doesn't matter anyway. So we need to add the button for this appointment and we need to Take this one off from here so see it's working now so let me fix this thing this is the only thing left now to fix this one and to add the code for this one uh, but before we do that let me just uh, fix this uh, space in a little bit so i go over here and this one here spacing at the location like that also this location here you know you see this is straight you can also play with it you can just make it like that if you want so you can play with the angle if you want to play with the angle but for this one I can make it 90 okay so update let me see yeah here we go so let me fix this one to fix this one let me go here to at uh, the dashboard okay and I will choose customize okay <coughs> uh, Okay, it gave me like a different page because I didn't set up the home page, but anyway, it doesn't matter because we just need to fix this one. So I will go to additional CSS, okay? The first thing to do is just to take this pointer out, so we add this code here, okay? So when you add this code, li and no pointer, and pointer events none. So pointer dash events equals none, which is this one. You can see it's gone, okay? And I publish. If you remember, we added this pointer uh, no pointer class to this menu here. So we need to add, so we're done with this one, so we need to add the button for appointment. If you go to the uh, Astra website, okay, Astra website, docs, uh, and you search for highlight certain menu, you will get this uh, tutorial here and they give you code in here. You can use this one. And if you remember, I add this menu item highlight, I copy this code, and I added, uh, I added, uh, uh, I add some uh, modification to it. But this is the one here. If I go back here, let me let me show you. If I go to uh, uh, the menu, okay. And if you look here to the appointment, you will see I added a class here called Menu Item Highlights, which this one here. So I copied this code and I add some stuff to it and I delete some stuff with it. And I end up with this code. Let me go again to the customize. And I will show you the code which I added. And you can just copy it or you just get your own code from online. It's just a button CSS. So let me get uh, get mine. Okay, here it is. I'm going to copy it here. I'm going to paste it here, by the way. So we got this one here. Okay, so I get publish. And if you see this one, move a little bit to the left because of the spacing. But anyway, this, this is the code. This code, actually, I got it, as I said, from here. 
So you can add to it and play with it and change the color if you want. And if you need this code, just let me know. Just add a comment and I will give it to you. It it's too long to put it in YouTube anyway. But as I said, you go to Astra, search for documents, highlight certain menu, and here is the code. And you can add, uh, add uh, to it or you just search for a button, uh, custom button CSS code online. Okay, so I publish it. Okay, and click in here. I go to pages. Again, if I see uh, view, okay, you will see this one here. Uh, you can do the same thing for this one here. And also if you put your mouse over here, there's nothing happen, okay, you see? And you can play with the text size and the spaces and everything. And this one, this one here, you can add the same thing like the appointment. If you can see this one here is the same thing. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna repeat the same process again and again. So this is everything guys, as you, as you can see, if I scroll down, you see everything looks fine, like this one. It's nice seam and this is how you do it. Uh, I hope you like the video and if you do, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can also uh, get the new uh, videos and learn with me or redesign with me. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks guys for watching and see you next video. Take care.